Welcome back guys. Okay, so um, another city review today. We're just going over like my friend's trip. Um, this one's gonna be about Cremont Ferrand. So um, this is like a smaller city in France uh, and I'll kind of like in the description, I'll kind of talk about where it is geographically. Um, but this is the city that we went to uh, after we went to Paris for the Leadership Scholars trip. Um, and we stayed there for about uh, five or six days. Um, and so, um, Clermont Ferrand is way more manageable a city than Paris was. Paris is huge, and because it's public transportation, you can go all over the city. Um, and it was really, really cool to be in Paris. I, it's probably my favorite city in France, but Clermont Ferrand was nice because it's very walkable, um, and you can see way more um, in probably in one day than you can in Paris because it's just like less walking, less people, stuff like that. So, um, let's see here. Um, food. So, this is definitely an interesting food place because uh, because it's so small, we really have the chance to branch out a lot because you can go in your little radius and then extend your radius um, after you've eaten in the, a few places. So, um, food, one place uh, that we really, so, so what we started to do after Paris because um, there's just like a, a certain amount of time once you're, like, once you're abroad uh, where you like start to branch out more, you start to be more adventurous. Um, and Paris, I think that's when we, like it kind of, like it started the tail end of Paris. And once we were in Clermont Ferrand, we really got comfortable with ourselves. And so uh, we started going out way more um, and it was a really great time. So uh, one thing we started doing was, uh, Paris has a huge population of like immigrants and a lot of them are from the Middle East. Um, and one thing that we really started to eat a lot of was uh, kebabs, right? Um, and it was a huge thing in our program. Um, so we would start to go around to different kebab places around like different cities um, and try them uh, and just get like a, like a different thing or uh, just like kind of compare and contrast uh, with different like kebab spots around uh, Claremont Front. So kind of like uh, with England or, uh, or London, London um, whenever I was talking about like you wouldn't expect it, but this is the best thing I ate. Um, it was the same thing in Claremont. So uh, one, like we would always go around to the different city and go to different uh, kebab spots. And so um, the bread was amazing in Claremont too. So I'd go to this grocery store and get this uh, huge loaf of bread for like 68 cents. It was delicious. It was one of my favorite things. Um, and I might have enjoyed it as much or more than the front pre bread from Paris. But that's neither here nor there. It was all delicious. Um, but you would go um, and basically like they can kind of speak English, so you speak English, or um, you try your best to speak French. That's usually the polite thing you do, is try speaking another country's language, um, and you would order it. Typically, it's pretty cheap. It would get you uh, a boisson, which is a drink, you know what I'm saying? So a little bit of immersion. Um, the fries, the frites, and then the sandwich, um, which is a, like a, it's like a roll uh, with kebab meat, which is like a mixture, I think, of like chicken and beef. Don't, no, I don't know for sure. Um, but you'd put that on there, they have like a special sauce, and then you can put a, another sauce on there if you want to. I would usually put ketchup on it because I'm an American, and as much as you want, you can't take the Oklahoma out of me. I, I'm trying to go to different places and you know, widen my horizons, but sometimes Oklahoma comes out, throws some ketchup on that thing. Um, but they were like really, really delicious. Um, and I don't know the name of it, but I do know the guy who runs it because his name became like a legend around the uh, Leadership Scholars cohort. Um, it was this dude named Abdullah. So, if Abdullah was there, you gotta get a kebab because this dude put so much effort into it. It was delicious. He would like, just the work that he put into making the sandwich and like the attention to detail that he had, it was delicious every time. And so Abdullah was our favorite. If I ever go back to Claremont, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna be like, dude, you have to remember me. I love you, you know what I'm saying? He definitely remembers me. Like I definitely remember him. He did not remember us at all, I'm sure. So uh, that's food-wise probably the best thing I ate while I was there. Um, Fashion wise, uh, we did get to go shopping uh, while we were there um, and we went to a lot of different stores. Um, they have like a really cool market down there. Um, one thing that was cool was that we went to this like thrift shop kind of and we had, um, we got to like look around and there was a whole bunch of different stuff there. Uh, and it was a lot of like, 
vintage American stuff, which was cool. Um, and I think it was because a lot of American exchange students will go to Claremont Front and go to the university there. Um, and even we have a lot of like, uh, OU has a lot of exchange students there, so it makes sense. Um, but there was a lot of American stuff in uh, in the store. So I, I saw American Eagle stuff from like the early 2000s because I had the same one here. Um, there was like a cool like Steelers jacket. I mean, it was really cool. Um, but kind of like the same style from uh, Paris. A little bit different because it's like I think uh, Claremont Front is a little bit more out in the countryside, uh, but it was really really beautiful. Um, I love the I love the, like, the city. Uh, the fashion is really cool, uh, but like going there and then seeing the uh, the thrift store kind of threw us off because it's like man this is so American. Um, but what was really cool is like you you have to like you pay you pay for things based on weight. So you get them off a certain rack and then it costs a certain amount and then based on its weight you add a certain amount. So kind of different than like a Goodwill or something like that, but very very cool uh, store. So that's food and then music. So like I was talking about in the last video, uh, in the bars there, if it was like a smaller bar, they would actually start playing American music. I thought it was really, really funny. Uh, but they would play stuff that we wouldn't really think about as like, oh, that's a slapper. You know what I'm saying? That's a banger. Um, and so uh, they would start playing like old school music, like, um, I can't even I can't even think of it right now. But I, last video I said it was like sock hop music. So it was like old music, that, like old people listen to like when they're doing dances. Um, but uh, funny nonetheless, and it was cool. Um, but yeah, you hear a lot of like global hits and stuff like that because like Paris is like French is a very like global place. Um, so food, music, fashion, that's everything. Uh, uh, one more thing I want to talk about food was while well, uh, while we were down there, we went to um, the city square, like I said, with the fashion. Um, but while we were down there, uh, there was this really cool like little popsicle stand, um, and we would go there and just we would eat like two popsicles a day because this dude was making popsicles, um, and I got this mango popsicle that was to die for, and if I ever see it again, I will go. Um, but while we were there as well, last thing I want to talk about was this place called Fresh Burritos. If you're in, uh, if you're ever in Claremont, go down to Fresh Burritos. It's a pretty good place, um, and it's just like it's very much like a. Uh, a France's uh, attempt on like a Qdoba and so it's funny because um, you have this fusion or fusion is not what I necessarily what I'd say it's a um, like a piece of Mexican culture that's been like not degraded but like it's been like morphed into like American Mexican food. So you have like fast casual places like Udobo or Chipotle. Uh, and then so then like it's even further um, and they're doing the exact same thing in France. So it's cool to watch. Um, and like Fresh Burritos is definitely an American name. Uh, and so it was good. It was pretty good stuff. Um, and you get a huge burrito. So definitely uh, worth going to. Um, probably the best thing I did was we climbed the volcano um, uh, in, we climbed the volcano in Claymore Front. So I can't remember the name of it right now with the volcano, but I'll put it in the description. Um, but it was a really, really awesome time. Hopefully I can add some pictures in this video. If not, they'll be in the description. So that was Claymore. Um, really, really loved it. And uh, yeah, that was it. Um, and like I said, drop a comment if you want to see anything in particular. Um, if you want to know any other cities I've been to. I have different reviews of cities that I've been to uh, on this blog, but I think I might start just redoing all the videos of different places I've been uh, because I really do enjoy talking about this kind of stuff. So um, go back in the blog and see what I've talked about. If you want to hear me talk about it on the video, I totally will. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I don't know if you are. I'm just saying that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Have a good one.